we have the SwitchBot Hub Mini, the SwitchBot Hub Mini Matter enabled, we have the SwitchBot Hub 2, and today we're looking into the new SwitchBot Hub 3. I can hear you think, why do I need to upgrade to a new hub or buy the latest version? In the end, a hub should connect my devices to the app and preferably also to my smart home platform like Apple HomeKit and Google Home. And you're right, that's what all these hubs less or more do, but there are some interesting upgrades to the SwitchBot Hub 3 both in smart home control, but also matter support. Let's first look into the basics of the SwitchBot Hub 3. The SwitchBot Hub 3 is completely redesigned and looks nothing like the previous Hub 2 or the Hub Mini. It's a lot bigger, it has a rotary knob and also a lot of physical buttons. This hub is not made to live in your fuse box, but more a central hub in your living room or bedroom. It's able to show the temperature and humidity from the sensor located in the power cord, the local weather, but also able to control many of your SwitchBot devices and Meta devices. The SwitchBot Hub 3 is foremost a hub to connect your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth SwitchBot devices, but it does not support Thread, but that's because of none of the SwitchBot devices currently support it either. It has also a built-in infrared blaster which can learn infrared signals from your remotes to control them within the app, like previous generations can do. The main advantage of using a hub with your SwitchBot devices is the possibility to remotely control your devices in the SwitchBot app, but also in the major smart home platforms like Google Home and Apple HomeKit. It is a matter bridge, which means you're able to bring SwitchBot devices over matter to your smart home platform to control these. And there we see a very interesting upgrade compared to the SwitchBot hubs from before. It's now able to bridge up to 30 devices into matter compared to 8 with the SwitchBot Hub 2 and 4 with the SwitchBot Hub Mini Matter enabled. And that's a huge improvement and addresses one of the biggest limitations of the SwitchBot hubs we currently have. Another new feature is the possibility to create virtual buttons and expose them to Matter to use and control your HomeKit and Matter devices in Apple HomeKit or other platforms. These buttons can be controlled on the SwitchBot Hub 3 and count towards the 30 device limit. These features enable you to control basically any smart home device using the SwitchBot Hub 3. There is also an interesting thought that came to me when I used this device. I could basically describe this device as a combination of a hub and their SwitchBot Universal Remote. It has the same SwitchBot button to go to your list of devices, is able to control Meta devices but also your Apple TV or Chromecast. Also the app interface looks very similar when adding new SwitchBot devices to the different screens of the SwitchBot hub. The rotary knob is especially convenient to control the volume of your Apple TV or Chromecast, but is also used to select different devices connected to the hub. I can also confirm the backlight of the buttons look quite nice in the dark. Next to some physical buttons, like the home and return and the on and off switch, it also features four touch buttons which are located directly under the screen. You can connect these buttons to devices or scenes, after which they act as shortcuts to control these devices and scenes. Some other features are the alarm feature, which means you can use the hub as an alarm on your nightstand. It's also able to detect motion if you're near the device, which is also exposed to Apple HomeKit via Matter. After using the SwitchBot Hub 3 for a few days, I came to some conclusions for now. First, I think the design is a significant upgrade. It feels a lot more durable and looks nice. The upgrade of being able to bridge up to 30 devices into matter is a significant improvement, especially for people with a lot of SwitchBot devices. And then we have all the functionality related to controlling SwitchBot and Meta devices with the Hub 3. While it's definitely a nice addition, I personally don't use this very often. Most of my devices work either with dedicated buttons or automatically, so there are not a lot of moments where I would walk to the Hub 3 to control a specific device with a button. This is also caused by the fact that some SwitchBot devices only have limited control on the SwitchBot Hub 3, like the Universal Remote. Their own robot vacuums are only shown as an on-off switch, while this would especially be a device where I need an interface to be able to select, for example, the rooms to clean and the cleaning modes. With this all in mind, the SwitchBot Hub 3 is an improvement on many fronts, so if you're investing in SwitchBot products, this is definitely an interesting option to look into. If you just need to connect your SwitchBot devices to a hub, the Hub Mini Matter enabled or the Hub 2, hub 2 is probably sufficient, but less future-proof given the Matter limitation of 4 or 8 devices. 
The SwitchBot Hub 3 is now available on the official SwitchBot website and also on Amazon. I will put some links in the description also to our Smart Home website if you want to know more about this SwitchBot Hub 3 and other Smart Home news. If you have any questions on the SwitchBot Hub 3, let them know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.